Good morning, guys, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, it is a beautiful winter sunny morning here in South Africa, a whole 21 degrees, you guessed it. Um, now, if you're from the UK and you're laughing, thinking winter 21 degrees, well, yes, it is uh, midday here, and um, 21 degrees for us is kind of a little bit chilly, so it's a big deal, okay? So just, you know, take it easy on us. Anyway, as you guessed it, um, I have an equestrian hack to bring to you today. And um, it's one that kind of blew my mind a little bit. Um, and I was kind of like, well, how did I not know this sooner? But anyway, um, I kind of Googled a whole bunch of things like how to remove bot eggs off of a horse. And the best Google could give me was use a bot brush or use vinegar. Um, let's just say it's safe to say that I tried both and uh, don't bother. I'm saving you the trouble. Forget about it. This, my friends, is the real deal. This is the business. So let me introduce to you. This, yes, is a Stanley knife. Um, here in South Africa, we call it a Stanley knife. Uh, some parts of the world, I think they might call it a uh, carpenter's blade or something to that effect. Um, it's very sharp, so please do handle it with care. Um, but I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly how I use it and um, give you a little bit of a kind of a history lesson on the bot fly so you can understand why it's important for us to remove bot flies. Um, here in South Africa at this time, it, it is quite a bit of a, an issue at the moment because they s specifically start uh, laying their eggs towards the end of um, summer going into your autumn, winter seasons. So ideally they lay eggs onto a host um, or directly onto a host, in this case, our horses. Um, because it's they like a warm area and they can sit there for up to two to four weeks um, until they actually hatch. Now when they hatch it's like a larva that comes out um, like almost like a maggot if you will and um, this actually inserts itself into or underneath the horse's skin internally and kind of just grows and grows and grows and forms like a massive lump or like a pimple type thing. Um, and obviously now they can lay up to uh, 10 to 400 eggs, um, normally between 10 and 40 eggs at a time. But um, the female will then come back and just keep laying and laying and laying. Um, so generally they target the areas of the horse's knees, the cannon bones, um, stifle areas, a little bit on the underneath of the belly. Um, so I'll kind of show you all the areas that you need to look for. Um, if you're a horsey person and you've been doing this for quite a while and been having a problem with this, you'll know exactly what they look like. Um, for those that don't know what they look like, they're basically like little tiny kind of yellow paint splatter, like round paint splatter looking type things. Um, extremely sticky, so trying to remove them with a vinegar or a, a bot brush like just doesn't work. So the best way to do it is a sharp blade. Uh, if you don't have a Stanley knife, you can obviously also try a chef's knife. Um, I would recommend that it be very sharp though, otherwise you're probably just wasting your time. Um, you'd also need a black, um, like a plastic or a top or something just to catch the eggs underneath because obviously you don't want to um, blade the eggs off and then they fall off into the stable and the larvae just, or the, when they hatch they just creep into the, the bedding because it's warm, you're kind of defeating the, the point of the exercise. Um, the circle and the cycle will just repeat itself. Um, another very important thing to take note of is that you kind of have to do this every day. As soon as you see um, eggs that have been laid, I normally check them um, when they come in in the afternoons or come in in the evenings from the field. Uh, that's when I've noticed, you know, throughout the day the fly comes and lays its egg um, and that's when, when they are at the, the most. Um, what happens is the horses kind of, you know, when they they kind of move around to bite their sides or shoo away flies. Um, the egg will actually attach itself to their mouths and they end up ingesting uh, this egg, which then incubates itself and attaches itself to the small intestine. Um, and then obviously causes an irritation and can cause uh, stomach ulcers and a whole bunch of other things that uh, we really don't want to deal with. So um, that's a little history lesson on the botfly eggs. So without further ado, let us go and demo to you guys exactly how we take it off. Okay, so I'm here with Ty in um, his stable. You kind of want to make sure that they um, stand quite still for you because it's difficult to then move around 
the tarp the whole time to catch the eggs. So it's easier if you just put them in the stable or get someone to hold them. Um, it makes your life a lot easier. So let's get into it. Okay, let's uh, start the clock now. Yeah, I have my tarp. Let's just clean it so we can see what we're doing. And uh, let's see if we can spot any eggs. I've done this yesterday, so there aren't too many eggs. There are a few on him. Um, let me see if I can get in there. Here we go. So here you can see, let's see how close we can get. Here you can see there's a small cluster that was laid. Um, I'm assuming this was laid this morning. Well, obviously it was laid this morning um, before coming in for lunch. So this is his shoulder area just behind the shoulder going down onto the belly. You can see them all over here. Um, sometimes they go, here's a few as well, right down to the backside. Sometimes you find some on the stifle joint, um, but predominantly they'd be laid here around the shoulder, um, here on the cannon bone, and especially around the knee, the inside of the knee here as well. Um, and I find quite a few, wait boy, I find quite a few on the chest area as well in front of the shoulder. So basically what you want to do is take your blade obviously sharp side down and you just want to give it a good rub like that. Some are a little bit more tricky to get off than others. Um, you want to hold the blade at a bit of an angle like I don't know if you can see my angle better like that so like that instead of like that kind of blade face up let me just move my top and then you just have to catch all of that and then you can kind of just let these fall there we go let's get these on the belly area See how easy that is. Okay, those are loosened, they don't want to come off. Um, let's get in under here. Um, very important to remember. It's very easy to nick them with this blade. So you wanna make sure they're standing still and the skin is pulled quite tight. So here I can feel the skin is quite wrinkly here and I'm nicking him almost. Um, so you wanna be really careful to make sure that the blade is angled the right way. Otherwise you can nick them quite badly. There's a few here. I'll come back and get those under the shoulder. He has a few under the tummy. Some of them are quite stubborn. You just gotta angle the blade in the right way and they come off. There we go. Top again. When the hair is really long, it's kind of difficult. There we go. Um, nothing on the stifle here, so we're okay. And there was nothing on the knee. So I think that is it. Pretty clean, knees are clean behind the knee. That one, nothing, cannons, all good there. 
Okay, once we're done on the one side, you need to obviously go back and go and do it on the other side. Um, so yeah, that's it. Quick and easy, guys. Uh, let's stop the clock. And um, there you go. No time at all. No mess, no fuss. Really, really just quick and easy. Um, please, again, do be careful and please try and uh, catch those bot eggs on the top if you can. It's just going to make your life a whole lot easier. You don't want to come in a few weeks' time and find um, larvae and maggots and stuff growing in your horse's bed. So uh, we do hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if by any chance you kind of came up with this hack before I surfaced and uh, realized what a life-changing hack this is, um, please do let me know in the comments so I can give you a fist pump and uh, have a laugh together. But um, as far as I know, I haven't seen anybody post anything like this before, but that doesn't mean that um, I'm the only one. So uh, please, if you have come up with this before or do have something even better, I'd love to know. Anyway, guys, uh, if you found this valuable, uh, if you found this helpful, please, please, please do leave a comment and let me know if I'm on the right track with these videos. Um, also, please then give it a thumbs up because, uh, you know, the good old thumbs up because um, then I know that I'm, I'm onto a good thing here. And uh, if you would like to see more videos of this nature or uh, blog, like vlog style videos, please also let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, subscribe and um, I'll definitely be making more of these in the future. So uh, thanks for joining us and uh, happy butterfly egg scraping. Until next video, ciao.